Hello everyone, it's Jade and welcome back to a Sims 3 speed build. So this is a speed build for a current LP again, so just like the apartment was previously. This is for a Sims 3 100 baby challenge and I cannot tell you how excited I am to start up a next gen, but... Uh, you guys could, you know, the 100 baby challenge is a lot of work. You're doing a lot of the same work. Like you basically, you find a guy, you get pregnant, yeah, you have your babies, you make sure your babies can walk, talk and potty. And then you go find another one pretty much. Or even after your birth, you know, somebody else can look after those kids while you go, you know, get ready to birth again. So, um, I just, I am thriving for something new, just like a fresh space, fresh kind of feel, a new character to play with, a new sim to kind of develop. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited for that fresh part. Like we are still quite, we're probably, we're, we're like currently pregnant with the last babies of the challenge. So, you know, there's still so much mystery to who will be moving in here, but I have like a kind of theme. So what I've tried to do over all the generations of, um, my hundred baby to kind of keep it fresh and a bit fun for me is I've tried to do something different each generation. So for example, um, first gen, we didn't really do anything. Everybody kind of had rando clothes and then, um, kind of, I had rainbow beds at that time, I believe. So that was kind of the vibe there. Um, but the house is kind of whatever I wanted. Um, then the second gen was like a single story, like two wings of the house and uh you know one room for everybody like it was in the first uh generation and everybody wore great clothes and that was the go-to there <laughs> um and then the third generation which we're on now um we've got you know er they're split into dorms of female and male and like girls and boys and they have like pink and blue outfits and i just thought that was kind of fun but uh this gen uh will be so as you've may as you may have noticed everything i am making white and i don't know why i did this to start off like i didn't think too much but i had maybe thought that i was going to be doing like rainbow again like just lots of colors um but somehow while i was building this i was just like watching the walking dead in the background like for a, a good time um but everything was white and i'm like i don't even know why i was doing everything white i just wanted to like do a layout and then come back to like the kind of creative tool and coloring that we could have the creative tool what am i talking about like i just wanted to come back like and see like what was there and then choose my coloring after but uh I actually ended up leaving everything white and I'm not even mad about it. Like, like maybe it'll be really bad for anybody who's watching it. Like, cause, cause everything will be so bright and everything will be so white. Um, but I kind of like it. It's like very clean and like, uh, I wouldn't say futuristic, but like, it's very like, yeah, like futuristic, uh, modern and it's really cool. It's really bland though. <laughs> kind of like, I guess when we had the gray, so that's kind of the same somewhat vibe. And I also, yeah, so I just chuck like a flooring on, but I wanted to have a really cute open area in the middle. I don't know where I got this idea from, but I liked the idea. Um, just a bit of, cause I was wanting it like really kind of modern, a little bit futuristic and like very green as well. So that's why we have like these kind of open areas and like even the woods of the house, I'm just like white, just, just do everything white, design this place. And then if you want to change anything, come back later. Um, and we had the sliding doors and I really liked the glass panels. It was really hard to, figure out like there's no doors except those sliding doors that meet that height and that are also glass that could match like the windows and I wanted those windows so it was like sliding doors it is um but not to worry so that's kind of the look that we're going with like really white and here we're about to build the kitchen which I did in like kind of like a cafeteria sense which I kind of liked <laughs> Because I'm like, you know, there's a kitchen area which is kind of cut off from like, and we've got benches in there for like a little cafeteria vibe. And I liked it. I, I like it a lot. It's it's different. Like in every other one, we've had a dining table, but now we've kind of like got a cafeteria. And I do have the, the kids and the toddlers on separate sides. And for once, I actually put the toddler room next to the mother's room. Usually I had them like separated, like in Gen 2, we had the toddlers and the kids on one side and mum on the other side. Um, but I think it's just, it's, it's a good break. And like, even in Gen 1, like when we had the double story house, kids and toddlers were upstairs and mum was downstairs. Um, 
So I think it makes sense that the toddler should be near her because she's the one who's going to take care of them. But also I'm hoping that it might, not that it's going to discourage them from helping her out, but it might just, uh, you know, the kids will find stuff closer by maybe that'll keep them occupied. This is what I'm hoping so that they don't try to intervene too much. Because a lot of my kids or my teens are all like, I want to help out the kids. And they just keep trying to pick them up and it's kind of frustrating. Like, I'll tell you when you can pick them up. <laughs> but yeah, so literally just white swatched everything. It was a fun time. I didn't actually really mind it too much. Um, but yeah, and I also realized halfway, like, you know, I was just plopping stuff down. Like I wanted to kind of measure out the structure that I was after. So that's kind of where I started like we don't even have flooring down yet and I don't think I put flooring down for a little while longer I'm still working out my windows but I just I really enjoyed this build and I think this build is so cute and it's gonna be so fun to play in and with this reshade it just also looks so much nicer because of the greens they're like almost like a yellow uh like greeny moss kind of color that doesn't make sense but you know I'm trying here so that's a fun time but sir I bet you're all wondering. No, I'm kidding. You're probably not. But <laughs> my idea for the kids this uh, this gen is that we're going to do like a, almost like a berry gen. So <laughs> I wanted to do like a rainbow and I was going to say, I was thinking this before, like, you know, if we do rainbow, like kind of again, like, but we're going to do the kids in rainbow clothes. So like each set of kids I have. So if she has quads, all, of the, all four of those kids will be red. And then she has the next set and all of them will be orange. And then she has the next set. So it's kind of like a little rainbow, but like then I cannot ever confuse what batch of kids with what batch, unless I get all the way back around to having like multiple reds in the house, which won't happen unless I fail on my multiple pregnancies. Um, but I'm pretty sure no matter what, they'll be out of the house before we get back to the same color. But that's what I was thinking. So I think that'd be really fun. And I was contemplating like making their beds all the same colors. So I know where everyone sleeps as well. Because I spent so much time trying to figure out where everyone slept a lot of the time when I was like trying to take care of their needs. I was like, which bed's yours? You know, you can go sleep in this bed. Is this bed yours? And then I think I still might do that. But that's what I had originally planned to do like colorful beds. But I was, that's why I started with white. I was like, look at their white. I can change them to what color they need to be later. Um but yeah i'm so excited we're gonna have like so many colorful kids but i'm gonna have to go through to make this as easy as i can for myself pick out like set outfits that everyone has and then those outfits i will just kind of recolor as i go through the thing um through the groups of kids but i'm making a bit more work for myself um and i'm kind of looking forward to the progress that i'm gonna get from it like it's gonna be a bit fun and everything's white but they're colorful and yeah i kind of made this like a little bit of a living room but i didn't want to have a tv this time i don't know why i didn't want it but i guess like in a like a keep your mind occupied kind of sense like um not that i would ever remove a tv from me because i literally just watch things like all the time it's so it's it's probably yeah jade's a bit special you're right <laughs> but like i should probably be outside doing some stuff like maybe i should garden <laughs> but i'm just here watching stuff so i don't know they don't have a tv that's what i decided but they have a cute little fighty uh fighty place fireplace uh in the living room they also have a piano um i just saw it there and i was like I would really love a piano and if my sims play it then that's gonna be fun kind of annoying but it will be quite fun and i might even get our air to play the piano and that would be really nice but it's just like a cute little seating kind of um common area where there's chess as well i do end up putting a computer in there that's only one computer as well um so that's everybody's gonna fight over that and it'll be great is this where i no okay so this is where i finally put flooring in um i believe i have shared all these floorings on my tumblr because a lot of the time if anyone's going to download my builds i use the same kind of like different color floorings but the same styled floorings um from a cc creator um and they are so beautiful they literally add so much more to the house and i love that in the sims 3. also these cots that we're looking at they're super cute only cost one dollar but i realized very shortly after kind of you know lining them all up um because i put another cot next to it and i realized that these cots are a lot higher so i'm not sure if they're actually functional i don't remember putting them in my game so they might have come with like a pack or like a bundle i put in the game um 
so yeah so I do replace them out for like the same cribs that we had last time and those windows in the kitchen took me so long I cannot express it I I cut out like maybe like 20 minutes of me trying to pick the right window like not full 20 minutes but like I was watching and then I would flip back and I was like going through all the windows for so long <laughs> and I finally put some lighting in um the lighting is pretty dull in here but I didn't want to go over the top too much because I did want to put in like the debug lights but I didn't want to do it while I was building so I might add them in later um but yeah so we go with these I also went with the gray swatches because it's close to white haha <laughs> <laughs> but when I was building this it felt a lot like my gen 2 house which is why like I had originally had this bedroom on the other side which was where I had it in the gen 1 no the gen 2 house and so I put it on the other side um you know to kind of make it feel different and we had like a long kind of like glassy hall like this as well very similar but like so much more modern and like I love it so much and I can't wait to move into here and I already said that um, it's very minimalistic as well, so like I haven't put a lot of clutter around. I do, I did put a like a, a very little bit, like I would have put flowers on all of the benches in the cafeteria area, but it wouldn't allow me. Like I just wanted like a touch of like nice floral everywhere and like it wouldn't let me and I'm quite upset. And I'm so sorry if I say like and but and obviously too much. It's apparently my fill in words. <laughs> I just took those words in to fill in the gaps but like yeah but you know I was gonna go with this but you know you know and I use you know a lot too <laughs> and I'm like obviously this is what I was gonna go for like you know you guys should know this is really obvious I couldn't decide what to put on this wall so we kind of go with this little like gray thing but I didn't want to go anything too colorful again so everything is white gray black the most introduction to black we have in this house is the um the living room with the couches because I couldn't I was a bit lazy and I didn't re-swatch them but the piano was black and you know I thought it would be fine so <laughs> the bedroom has a few browns in it I know crazy everything else is white but I was like this is it yeah, she gets she's a little bit more special not too crazy but just like a little bit more special and we are working on the bathroom I in the original setup of this, um, there's the bathrooms in the dorms and I was really tempted to do like one half was going to be like toilets and the other half showers, but this is the 100 baby challenge. Why not just buy the more expensive um, all-in-ones and just deal with it? And I just kind of like, I like the idea of like, you know, having it look nicer, but I get it. And I was just like, Jade, it's going to cause you more trouble than it's worth. Okay. And this bathtub, this is CC bathtub. Don't know where I got it from. Good time. And it's really cute. <laughs> so hopefully we can use that. And we'll, I just like the idea of the air having her own bathroom. She could have an all-in-one, but I, it, I think it would just be really nice if she has the option to do all three separately. And like, I feel like she deserves a little like bathing house to herself. Mm. Like totally the least she could do, right? The least that she could do, lol. The least that she deserves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I think that oh no it's from I think it's Ma Marta Sims Marta Sims book I think that's her name their name sorry um I'm pretty sure it is they're they are where I get a lot of my CC from I wonder I'm trying to like I'm watching the cribs to see when I change them because I'm pretty sure I took it out did I change them just then I can't tell <laughs> no they're still the same cribs um, and then I go through and give them a bedside table, kind of couldn't pick on this one either, but we work on it. And I do want to, I contemplated putting like personal items there, but like, like in the, oh God, I just said like, like too much, but I wanted to put, I was thinking about maybe a personal item per sim so like we can, you know, kind of like it represents them a bit more like. I hate that I'm saying like so much. I'm picking it up every time I say it and every time I say, you know, um, so it would be an item from them and it'll be the same color as them as like, you know, something to kind of define them a bit more, give them a bit more personality. Also cute playground, um, really enjoyed kind of decorating around the back of this place and adding in the, like, I just really love, like, I don't really normal, normally add in a lot of like greenery around the edges when I'm building because I never have enough money because a lot of the time I'm building a budgeted house. But we've got money in this in this um, LP, so that's why I went a bit crazier. 
I'm so sorry, I stumbled so much there. I've been rambling and rambling and I'm just jumping so much. <laughs> oh no, but the, the greenery in The Sims 3 is a bit harder to... I wish they'd almost combined The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. Like The Sims 3 is missing what The Sims 4 kind of has and The Sims 4 is missing what The Sims 3 has. And it's just, you know, it's a, it's a whole other world. But yeah. So I also tried to keep our, uh, like, um, words, like keep our playground a bit more casual. Still kind of the same sandpit vibes that it has been for the last two gens. But I just thought it was cuter. I tried to use different items as well. So it was a different feel. Like, you know, we're not completely repeating ourselves every time. Like, it's a bit different. Um, I did do a bit of decorating in the center area where the greenery is of the house, like the center square, um, but I didn't actually put it in this build because I decided I was finished and then I went back in and just added a few things. So they are saved that way. So when you download it, you'll have what's in the middle, um, which is basically just like a training area. So it's got like the gym equipment because my Sims always like to work out. Um, and also some painting because we always have painting. Oh, I should have contemplated if I wanted another bot in this home. I have been thinking about us having a cat though, because I'm kind of like, a cat would be so fun. So I think we might get a cat if I remember, but that will be at a later date. But yeah, so maybe we'll have a cat. I like the idea of maybe my pregnant sim keeping busier with like the cooking and the upgrading. And I did put a baking station in the kitchen because maybe she likes to bake. And maybe that could be her kind of help and duty to the home as well as taking care of herself. So I think I might not have a bot this gen. Might be a really bad thing because I might just heck myself over. But I think maybe we'll just trade the bot out and we'll get a cat. But anyway, guys, I will be leaving this here for today. I hope you guys are having a really good day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.